Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Sam Carter has just about decided to sell his entire outfit to Steve Bradford. But after talking to his foreman, Alabama, he's going to wait a short time longer before making his final decision. All the boys are down in the bunkhouse of the ranch singing while Bradford is talking to Mr. Carter at the ranch house. Mr. Carter, I don't want you to think I'm being overly anxious about this deal, but I've got to have my answer. I'll let you know within a week, Bradford. Uh, that's all I can say. I promised that to Alabama. Alabama? What interest does he have in Red Horse Ranch other than his job? Oh, just his love for the place and Rose and I. Mr. Carter, have you noticed anything unusual about Alabama's actions lately? Why, well, no. More than usual, I... I will admit that he hasn't explained why he wants me to delay selling out, but... Uh... Well, Mr. Carter, this may sound a little assuming on my part, but I'd like to suggest that you do watch him a little closer. I don't believe that I understand. I wonder if you could tell me where he is now? Why, no. Uh, oh, I suppose he's down with the herd. They're grazing in the north pasture. Hmm. Then you might be interested to know that I just saw him riding his horse red about a mile west of here toward the hills. He acted rather uh, bothered to know that I saw him. I've always trusted Alabama, and I always will, Mr. Bradford. Oh, of course, Mr. Carter, of course. I'm sorry I said anything. It's just, well, my interest in you and your beautiful daughter. I'd hate to see you disappointed. Steve, I didn't know you were here. Good morning, Rose. <laughs> I've been talking to your father about the red horse outfit again. I'm afraid he's still holding out on me. <laughs> well, you couldn't blame any one of us for that, Steve. We're going to hang on to it just as long as we can. Mm, I understand. I'm only hoping your dad doesn't lose the outfit without realizing a cent out of it. I've really offered more than it's worth, you know. Oh, uh, Dad, are the boys out on the porch? Yes, <laughs> they must think they're cheering me up a little. Seems them cowhands can sing no matter what's ahead. Well, we all need cheering up. Come on, let's all go out and listen to them. Well, Mr. Carter, I'll be going now. Now, please take what I said seriously, won't you? Uh, thank you, Bradford. I will. Come on, Dad. We'll go out on the porch. Her hold on to the ensemble was painful for two. Be getting along back to the bar, D. Well, goodbye, Rose. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Carter. Goodbye. Oh, boys, I'm so glad you came up to the house. I was just going down to the bunkhouse to get you to sing for me. Yeah. Well, we figure singing drives away a heap of trouble, Miss Rose. Oh, of course it does, Tex. Why, uh, Tenderfoot, where's Alabama? Why, well, I think some of the herd wandered out of the north pasture. He must be looking for them. Hmm. 
When did he leave, Tenderfoot? Well, uh, well, about an hour or two ago. Uh, he didn't have much else to do. And... Oh, that's like Alabama. He'll do work when it's really somebody else's job. But, uh, say, Tex, did you forget about that music? <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Come on, sing one for me. Yeah, get into <laughs> well, it. Well, I was thinking if that's what you want. That's well, how's it? this one? I got a slice of bacon. I got a can of beans. Got a slice of bacon. I got a can of beans. I'm the happiest man that you see. Got taters in the cellar. Taters in the cellar, cornmeal in the can. Yeah. I'm a looking for a mama, they ain't got no man. Hey. 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 I feel a lot better already. <laughs> Say, don't I know that fella stopping out here? Well, if it ain't uh, Sheriff Simpkins from over Danville. Well, sure enough is. I wonder what he's doing out this way. Howdy, Sheriff. Come on up on the veranda. All right. Howdy, Mr. Carter. Yeah. Well, hello, Mr. Miss Rose. Well, hello, Howdy, Sheriff. boys. Howdy. 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 Now, Sheriff, don't tell us Arizona's been in town shooting out window lights again. <laughs> oh, uh, well, no, not that I know anything of. Why, Jack, Sheriff, I ain't seen you since the rodeo. Why ain't you been out the old red horse before? Why, well, I, I'll, I'll tell you, Dad, I... I figure he's been scared to get near Arizona since he kept him in the jug last summer. Now, now, know? Idaho, you know I was just doing my duty that night. Just a doing my duty. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, I can still remember the day that you let the bridle reins drag behind you and thought it was a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> you run plumb down past the saloon and trading post and the railroad corrals. You ain't looking for no more rattlesnakes, are you? Huh? Now, now listen, buy tickets. There ain't no rattlesnakes around here, are they, huh? No. I might have a couple in my pocket here, that's all. Oh, <laughs> glory me. Oh, no. Leave him alone, boys. Leave him alone. Uh, let him tell what he come out here for. Huh? Oh, yeah. oh well... Oh, why, why, to hear you boys sing a little, that's what. What? You came all the way from Danville for that? Uh... Why, why, sure did. Uh, go, go ahead, boys. Uh, give us a tune, uh, something kind of quick and devilish like. Might as well sing for him, boys. How about the bingo farm? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lovely diner. She yeah. was so very finer. The sun she did outshine her. I won't go there no more. I won't go there no more. I won't go there no more. I won't go there no more, no more. Way down on the bingo farm, the first time I desired her, she was making fun and fire. My heart began to sire. Way down on the bingo farm, I won't go there no more. I won't go there no more. I won't go there no more, no more. Way down on the bingo. Down on the bingo. Down on the bingo. Oh. Yeah, that, hey, that was mighty fine, boys. Mighty fine. Hey, listen, Sheriff. I'll have one of the boys take your horse around the corral. You'll stay for grub, won't you? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I've got to be going right away. Oh, yes, come now. We've been friends for a long time, ain't we, Sheriff? Sure would like to have you stay. Well, yes, we've been mighty good friends. Sure we have. Uh, well, uh, give us some more of that music, boys. Say, Arizona, uh, whatever happened to your tater bug band that you had over at the rodeo? I ought to do nothing for you, Sheriff, but as long as you're a friend of the bosses. Come on, boys. <laughs> Dad, isn't the sheriff acting funny? Oh, he's always like that, Rose. Oh, well, let's go, boys.
ticket errors. Only that plain sure is fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, I uh, might as well be moving along. Oh, I'm sorry you can't stay, oh. Sheriff. Taint often we have visitors out here, Red Horse. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, a uh, uh, pretty good rain we had, wasn't it? Yeah, but it didn't do me no good. Delayed driving the herd to Danville. Uh, by, by I took it, Carter. Uh, I'd just as well do it and, and get it over with. Huh? You got something on your mind? Well, it, it ain't my doings, Carter. It's it's old Tim Jones over at the bank there in Danville. Oh, so that's it, huh? It's about the loan. Yes, I reckon it is. Now, now listen, Carter. I'm mighty sorry about this, and I must put out as you are. But it's my bounden duty, and I've got to serve an attachment on that herd of red horse cattle out yonder. Red, does that mean they're taking your herd? That you won't get anything for it? Now, now, quiet, Rosa. I reckon Tim Jones has the right to... I haven't made one payment on that loan. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do now, Carter. Being as I trust you, I'm, I'm leaving the herd right here on your place until the whole thing's settled. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Sheriff. I was wondering how you'd be driving that 500 head of Longhorn into Danville by yourself. Now, now, Idaho, God darn it. It ain't my doings. This is my duty. Yeah, Sheriff. There's some rustlers got about 300 head of this red horse herd. Uh, figuring on attaching that too? Yeah. Huh? The rustler, you say? Well, now, I don't know as I can do much about that, but then... Oh, well, yeah. well, it's as much your duty to run down rustlers as it is to serve attachments, ain't it, Sheriff? Now, now, Idaho, we're trying to take care of them, and as soon as we get a warrant... Now, I'll that's hold. all right, Sheriff. I don't hold it again. You. Rose and I'll make out somehow. Of course we will, Dad. They haven't taken our ranch yet. Well, I reckon I'll give you the papers, Carter. Say, Sheriff... That attachment on Dad's herd ain't legal till you give him the papers, is it? Why, no, but then that's what I'm getting set to do right this minute. Well, look out, Sheriff. I'd watch huh? the step, huh? sir. Huh? I think you said you didn't like rattlesnakes. Uh, rattlesnakes? Uh, where? Right there, right there on your foot. There, right now, I'll shoot him, Bob. Sure, I'll help you, I know. Hey, look out there now. My near hit me. Where was that rattlesnake? Well, huh? went right around behind him there. There, I'll shoot it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. it again. That'll get it. Hey! What are you dancing oh, for, Sheriff? Oh, Where's your little rattlesnake? Let me out of here. Let me, I'm leaving. Let me out of here. Where are you going, Sheriff? I thought hey, you was going to serve them papers. Well, look at him. High <laughs> tail it out of here. <laughs> well, we're rid of Sheriff Simpkins for a while. But secretly, we feel that the sheriff was just as glad as the boys not to serve the papers. But things are looking pretty bad for the Red Horse Ranch. What can Alabama do to save it? Perhaps we'll find out soon.